Let's turn our Bibles to the Gospel of Mark, chapter 2, verse 1 to 12. Gospel of Mark, chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. If somebody could read it loud, please. Mark also to submission and Damathia, Mother Ona Mother, Pandra and the Vedal Wakimel, Arkil, Vedal Waikia. You are the same. I will wait Amen. Can somebody read that in English also, please? Amen. Immediately he rose, took up the bed, and went out in the presence of them all, so that all were amazed and glorified God, saying, We never saw anything like this. In this passage, we read about three groups. You have the friends, the Bible mentions, four of them. Four friends who loved their dear friend who was paralyzed. We read about the teachers of the law. The second group, they were the teachers of the law. And the third group is the largest group that the crowds that had gathered inside that house to hear the teachings of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So you have three groups. You have the crowds. You have four friends. And then you have the teachers of the law. They have come. Look at it. The crowds have gathered, gathered there. They're inside the house. It was jam-packed with a lot of people. The crowds were hungry to learn the truth. The crowds were hungry to receive the revelation from Jesus Christ. But there was an under group, the doctors of the law, who thought they knew everything. They didn't come to hear the truth. They didn't come to receive the truth. They came to check out Jesus. Making sure that there was any loophole in a wrong teaching that Jesus would perform or teach. Hallelujah. And so they wanted to trap Jesus. They wanted to question him. Hallelujah. They were looking for a loophole in his teaching. And so they are carefully scrutinizing the teachings of Jesus Christ. Outside this house, the under group, they are on their way. There are four friends who truly love their dear friend. This dear friend may be a reputable man in the society, might have been a rich guy who lost everything, 
may have been, a, he might have been an influential person, we don't know. Maybe he was from a poor family, we don't know, we don't know nothing about him. But I believe you understand what was going in his heart. He was so rejected, so broken, so lonely because now, and think about an independent man becoming a dependent man. Think about the frustration. Think about people who have a stroke when they're so active, you know, they do great things, you know, they are so active, so involved in the community at home, at church, and suddenly they get paralyzed. And then now, you know, they are, are depending on others to help them, feed them, do their activities of daily living. Think about the frustration that goes in the hearts of such people. And so I believe you understand what was going in the heart of this guy who was paralyzed. His so-called friends might have left him, but here comes four friends who step up to the situation. They understand what that man is going through, hallelujah. They understand the feelings of being lonely, feelings of being rejected, hallelujah. And instead of, you know, just forsaking him, they decide in their heart, I have to do something, hallelujah. There is a master, there is a rabbi, there is the Messiah teaching in this house. We got to do something. We cannot sit idle. We cannot see this and act as if we haven't seen this. There is a genuine need for this man. Somebody ought to help him. Somebody has to step into his life. Somebody must take him to Jesus. The problem is we like to fix people's problems. We want to intervene. We want to step in. We think we are the one. It's like a one-man show. It's all about me. We cannot fix. We cannot do anything. The solution lies in Jesus Christ. Our duty is to bring people to God. Our duty is to connect people to Jesus Christ. That's because I'm a pastor of a church doesn't mean that, you know, I am an answer to all your problems. No, I am not the answer to your problems. I am not the solution to your struggles. Only Christ Jesus He is the answer. He is the solution to your problems. Whatever you go through, hallelujah, you have to connect with Him. My duty is to point Him to you. Make sure you I'm going to make sure you realize that I'm encouraging you to tap into the power of God. Tap into the word of God. Tap into the presence of the Lord. There is power in him. There is power in his name. There is power in his blood. There is power in his word. And these four friends, think about this, okay? I'm going to repeat this after me, okay? If we come together, can you repeat this after me? If we come together, Jeevan, if we come together, in unity, in unity and express our solid faith, and express our solid faith not in the pastor but in Jesus, in Jesus and lead people to Christ and if we promise or if we make a commitment if we promise never to take the glory for ourselves then we will see miracles of God we are intervening in everything. Hallelujah. Trying to solve people's problems. We are not the solution to their problems. Jesus Christ is the solution to their problems. The problem is we have to encourage people to have faith in God. The problem is we don't come together in unity. Inside the family, sometimes there is no unity. Inside the church, sometimes there is no unity. Even in the community, sometimes among churches, there is no unity among churches. Sometimes no unity among the men of God together. So we are disunified. Problem number one, if we can come together in unity and express our solid faith in God. We are depending on medicines. We are depending. Medicines are all good. It's good. Take it, hallelujah. But there are times you have to express your solid, concrete faith in God. At that time, you have to speak it. You have to express your faith, hallelujah. You have to do things, do act out your faith. Sometimes you have to speak out your faith. Even before you see the miracle, you have to declare your rock solid faith in Jesus Christ. Sometimes you have to declare the word of God. 
Fear repels you from God, but faith attracts you towards God. Or let me tell you, faith attracts God towards you. When God sees your faith in Him, your unmovable, concrete, rock-solid faith in Him, He will come to you. He will intervene in your situation. So make sure you express your rock-solid faith in Christ. But those four friends, they decided, no, we are not going to take him to anybody because the solution to his problem is not upon any human being. So there is a Messiah, he's an anointed Christ, he is the promised deliverer of Israel. Let us take him to Jesus, the Son of God. Only Jesus Christ can change the situation. Only Jesus Christ is the answer to his problem. So let us take him to Jesus. Can I have four volunteers, please? Four volunteers. Any four volunteers. Thank you. I love my young guys. So responsible. Okay. Four friends. They have a burden or a destination on Dandwana taking that paralyzed man to the house where Jesus is teaching. So imagine you're carrying a paralyzed man and Jesus is there in that house. That is the problem. You already start, you start moving without asking, hey, let's do this together. You're looking at me, you're going to start looking at each other. It's all about teamwork. And what? Teamwork. teamwork. They have to lift that person together. So they come in. Paralyzed Vektiya. Urimich they have to. Urisara Boya, he will fall down. You have to carry him. So you have to not look at me, look at each other. Stand properly. Adiyam, they have to stand together properly. They have to lift him. Imagine you're lifting up. No? You didn't communicate with each other. Hey, one, two, on the count of three, together let us lift him up. Don't look at me, look at them. <laughs> together they have to lift him up. Sadhikram. Together they have to walk. Slowly walk. For that, before they walk, they have to know the destination where they are going. They have to know the destination where they are going. Number three or four, they have to walk in the same pace. Yes or no? Yes. They have to walk in the same pace, same direction, same pace. They have to walk <coughs> together in the same pace. <coughs> they love it. It's a part of unity, teamwork. Guys go, no. Fall down, it's going to hurt himself. You have to be gentle. You have to be sensitive. Hallelujah. Don't think about yourself and how smart you are, how capable you are, or about your experience. Think about that paralyzed man there. Be sensitive to his pain. Be careful as you gently lift him up. Want to love the Hallelujah, he's paralyzed. He's got a lot of issues. Lot of issues. Be sensitive. Together communicate. Carry him together. Understand where you're going first before you carry him. And make sure you walk together. Make sure you walk together in the same pace. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. So they're walking. They're carrying him. And they come to the house. They heard that Jesus was... See, sitting there or standing there and preaching the word of God. This is what the Bible says. There was no room in that house. There was no room. I'm not talking about the doctors of the law, the teachers of the law. They have come with a different 
അങ്ങനെ എല്ലായിടത്തും ഉണ്ട് കേട്ടോ ഇവിടെ എങ്ങനെ ഉണ്ടോ എന്ന് അറിയത്തില്ല മാർക്ക് ഇടാൻ പറഞ്ഞവരുണ്ട് അവർ ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യാനുള്ള സമയം 
If somebody can be touched by Jesus, if somebody can be ministered to, hallelujah, I would rather use my strength. I would rather use my time so that I could be a blessing to somebody in this 2020 year. I pray you would use your time, your strength, hallelujah, your energy, your talents. Use it wisely for the kingdom of God. Use whatever God has given. Make sure you become a channel of blessing to somebody else, hallelujah. Your strength, use it for the Lord. Our Kadalavakum beauty in the TV Ganda, the TV in the end of the Masha Parayan, TV Ganda, enjoy the weekend. They could enjoy the time there. A lot of Kaivata with the But these four friends said, No, we're not going to sit idle. How can we sit idle when our friend is grieving? Amen. When our friend is lonely? We are going to do something. We have to go somewhere. We went. You know how people are. Right? Mutta with excuse. All we can't say. Amarnya. Mutta with excuse. Nyor do bariyam. Ori kaya amor dia amarnya. Mutta with excuse. Nyor do bariyam. Amar ke went. Chudi ka mar kare madhi. Hallelujah. Kaicha padula bari kram. Vishwas padula bari kram. People who want to give God the glory. People who point others to Jesus. People who want to glorify Jesus. People who want to make sure Jesus gets all the glory. We want them, the remnant, to step up for the Lord this year. To use your strength, use your talents, use the finances, whatever God has given it. Use it to be a blessing to somebody. Maybe it's only one person, but let that person's life be touched because of you. Hallelujah. There might be somebody in your extended family. There might be somebody in your friendship circle. There must, there might be somebody in your neighborhood, in your community, who needs the touch of Jesus Christ. The pastor cannot do anything. Nobody can do anything. Point them to Jesus Christ. Make sure you give them an opportunity to encounter Jesus Christ. They lowered him when Jesus saw their faith. He was marveled and he rewarded their faith. And Jesus, so your sins are forgiven. When they came, our priority, they don't know. Our priority, what was the priority of these four friends? That their friend needed a healing. Physical healing. Physical. Physical healing. They came, brought this man, carried this man to Jesus so that their friend would receive a physical healing. Because that was their priority. But he should have priority at the land. Was one for his spiritual healing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Son, your sins are forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. Rise. Physical healing came second. Let this be our prayer. Let this be our prayer. 2020. Hallelujah. Lord, I want to be on fire for you. Lord. I want to share the gospel to others. Whether they become saved or not, my duty is to sow seeds into their lives. I want to share the gospel with somebody, oh Lord. Let that be your focus. Spiritual priority in Dwana. What is your spiritual goal 2020? What is your yoga That's all secondary. Focus. Our focus must be a spiritual thing. That must be the main thing. Hallelujah. Lord, I want to use my time. Even though I am sick in my body, I will use my sick body to share the gospel to somebody in the world. In 2020, if I only if I can bring at least one soul to Jesus Christ, I would be happy, Lord. Help me to use my time wisely, my finances wisely, oh God, my strength, everything that you have given me, Lord. Hallelujah. Help me to use it wisely for the extension of your kingdom. At least 2020, at least one soul for the Lord. I've been gracious enough. The Lord has been gracious. I've led at least 600 souls to the Lord. I'm happy. Every year I have a count. I have at least, I have something in mind. But one of that prayer requests is, Lord, I want to lead at least one person to the Lord. And every year, the Lord has been faithfully helping me do that. Amen. 
பிடிச்சா நீண்ட கணக்கு கொடுக்கணும் தெய்வ சந்தியில் எவ்ரி இயர் யூ ஹேவ் ஜட் யோர் செட் செய்தது What am I doing? What am I attending all these meetings, fasting, praying, doing all these things? What is the point, Lord? Shoe, shoe fact, factory, what is it? Shoe factory. All the ones, factory, get the machine, all the cars, all the ones, all the ones. But the other thing, the other thing, the output, the other thing, the other thing, the other thing. What is the point? This is the point. I think you have to work in a factory. But the output is not the point. we have to shake ourselves god even if i cannot do anything on my own let me let me at least team up with somebody ingane edi kollarilla undo ingane kaalcha paadulla allo undo hallelujah sonda majendra pore odalla amen lord is there anybody who wants to give you the glory i want to team up with such people lord i want to partner with such people lord i want to bring people to jesus christ so that your name would be glorified oh god hallelujah no come at that man think about that man his condition before he got healed dependent on others paralyzed feeling so miserable so lonely do you know how many people are lonely chach nagatha there are so many people who are lonely they don't have a true friend they don't have a true friend so lonely where are these good clothes but deep within so empty so lonely waiting longing praying maybe for a true friend sometimes we see the needs we know what the needs are but we just choose to ignore i want you to be like those four friends who chose not to ignore that man who might have been their friend he said we will step up ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഒത്തിരി ബിസിയാ ഞങ്ങളും ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഒത്തിരി കാര്യങ്ങൾ ചെയ്യാനുണ്ട് പക്ഷെ സമയം കണ്ടെത്തും ടു ബ്രിങ് യു ടു ജീസസ് നീ ഇങ്ങനെ കിടക്കല്ല നീ എൻ്റെ ജീവിതം ഇങ്ങനെ നീ അവസാനിപ്പിക്കല്ല ഓൺലി ജീസസ് ക്യാൻ സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ഇൻ ടു യുവർ ലൈഫ് ആൻഡ് ഡു എ മെഡക്കൽ അതിനൊരു ഓപ്പർച്യൂണിറ്റി ഞങ്ങൾ ക്രിയേറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് തരാം ഹാലലൂയ ഐ വാസ് ഹിയർ ഇൻ ഐ വാസ് ഇൻ മുംബൈ മിനിസ്ട്രിങ് ആൻഡ് എ പാസർ ടുക്ക് മീ ടു എ ഹൗസ് ടു പ്രേ ഫോർ എ മാൻ ഹു വാസ് പാരലൈസ്ഡ് ഒരു ഹിന്ദു മാർഗത്തിൽ നിന്ന് രക്ഷയിലേക്ക് വന്ന ഒരു സഹോദരനാണ് കംപ്ലീറ്റ്ലി പാരലൈസ് കംപ്ലീറ്റ്ലി പാരലൈസ് ഹിസ് വൺ റിക്വസ്റ്റ് വാസ് പാസർ രാം ബാബു ഇസ് മിനിസ്റ്ററിംഗ് ഇൻ ദ സിറ്റി ഐ വോണ്ട് എൻ ഓപ്പർച്യൂണിറ്റി ടു ഗോ ഹിയർ ദ ഗോസ്ബ് ഐ സെറ്റ് ഷുവർ ഓഫ് കോഴ്സ് എനിക്ക് പൈസ ഇല്ല ഐ സെറ്റ് ഡോൺ മണി ബോ ദ മണി ഐ വിൽ അറേഞ്ച് എ കാർ ഓഫ് വെഹിക്കൽ എനിക്ക് അന്ന് രാത്രി ഹാവ് ടു ലീവ് ബാക്ക് ഐ സെറ്റ് അറേഞ്ച് a vehicle i will arrange a pastor to take you to attend the meeting so the three day meeting i will pay for all three days just for you to hear the gospel hallelujah and i gave him the money i said use it for this purpose he attended the service he didn't get healed but at least he was encouraged in his faith because when you are bedridden when you are paralyzed you're literally locked up in your room nobody will come to visit you at that time you're just feeling so miserable you're rotting inside basically if you're not strong in your faith but even the strong warriors of the lord need encouragement hallelujah that's why we need each other that's why we call the church no one man show no illa we need each other to strengthen each other to help each other to encourage each other hallelujah amen praise the lord so i pray this year you would use your time wisely so think about his condition before he got healed so miserable so much in pain spiritually lost depending on others paralyzed but after the miracle he was healed he rose up he walked his sins were forgiven it's a clean slate a fresh start in his life the joy that he had i believe he might have walked together with the other four friends dancing rejoicing hallelujah idana minister of sandosham when you see these people on the wall and they jana dirichu pogirathu they must have an encounter with the lord jesus christ and when you see the transformation that happens in their lives that is what gives us true happiness hallelujah to see life being changed hallelujah 
by the touch of God. And one touch, one touch from Jesus can change your life forever. One word from the master can change your destiny forever. How many souls have you won to the kingdom? Hallelujah. 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 Okay, we know that. The main thing is souls must be won to the Lord. Janathana Jeevatha will transformation. Show me the souls that you have won for the Lord. Others, leave it there. What are you doing with that? That time, everybody has equal time. Let that be your cry. God, at least one soul. Hallelujah. I'm going to use my strength. I'm going to use oh God, my time in whatever capacity, with whatever talents you've given me, Lord. I want to use it, Lord. That's your duty to do. He will do the rest. But make sure at the end of 2020, at the crossover service, at the watch night service, you must be able to testify this year I was able to win or lead one soul to the Lord. God used me to sow the seeds of the gospel to so many people. He will water it. He will grow it. But at least do your part to sow the seeds in the lives of others. Hallelujah. Are you with me? It's not a cruise ship. This is a battleship. We are on warfare. I'm doing the greatest disservice to my God. This is not this is not right. My prayer is you would understand what your calling is. Whatever you have been given, give it to the Lord. <coughs> Hallelujah. Whatever is the Lord. When you stand before the God. Your God, he is going to ask the account of your life. What did you do with all the Bibles that you have, Jacob, Matthew? Pastor Jacob, Matthew, you have so many books in your library. So many sermon notes. So many Bibles. What did you do with the strength I gave you? What did you do with the time I gave you? What did you do with the anointing I gave you? What did you do with the natural talents I gave you? What did you do with the spiritual gifts I gave you? What did you do with the family that I blessed you with? I plugged you in a good church. What did you do? What did you do? Nobody should be ashamed. You excuse what I am. You tell the excuse what I am. Lord, with what you gave me, I only had little, Lord. I only had nothing, not much. But what, I, what you entrusted me, the little, Lord, I was able to use it for your glory. Use it to advance your kingdom, Lord. Hallelujah. And never be deceived. This world is deceiving you. Churches are being deceived. Pastors are being deceived. Do not allow anybody to deceive you. But understand the truth. It's one day you will have to stand before the Lord and give an account of your life. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah.